In my time, I must admit, I've covered many, many Fox News segments. Uh, in fact, I'm not proud of the colossal number that I actually covered. <laughs> it's, it's way too many, if I'm being honest. But um, what you're going to see here is, and I don't say this lightly, I can't impress that upon you enough. I think I may have found the single dumbest Fox News segment of all time. This is right up there with, remember when Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, one of them was given a speech and the other one walked up and gave them a, a pound. And the Fox News host said, is that a terrorist fish jab? That was like peak Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I watching? But this right here is literally in league with that, with how dumb it is. So the headline here in Mediate is the following. Fox contributors tear into Kamala Harris for taking Thanksgiving photo with a gas stove. Quote, they hate humans. They hate joyfulness. They hate pies. Oh, that's only a fraction of the raging stupidity that you're about to see. All right. Well, speaking of Thanksgiving, we couldn't help but notice Kamala's tweet about it. Here she is with second gentleman Doug and what appears to be their kitchen with her homemade cornbread. But what's that behind them? Is that a gas stove? Kamala, how could you? Don't you remember when the Biden administration suggested banning gas stoves? I do not because they didn't. Oh my God, the right wing mind is something to behold. Oh my God, these guys are so special. So what they're referring to is there was some like scientific study, some report that came out, which all it had was just data in it. It was just like facts. They were just like, okay, so based on the research and going through the numbers with a fine tooth comb, it's very clear that having a gas stove in your house, yes, it increases the percentage of respiratory illnesses and cancer and whatever other you know, illnesses by X number of percent, it's statistically significant, it actually does have many harmful downsides. Now, some conservatives would hear just that and be triggered, to which I say, get over it. It's just, a, it's just facts. Like, people are allowed to do studies on things that you might not like the outcome to it and report on it. And that's what happened. So what happened? The Biden administration was like, oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, we'll look into this. That's it. That's it. They act like Chairman Mao Biden came out and said, I am hereby henceforth declaring that all gas stoves must be eradicated and eliminated within the time frame of two weeks. That didn't happen. This is all made up. It's so insanely made up. It's so made up. Now, by the way, I'll go a step further. You know, back in the day, they banned lead paint. Why? Because it was getting people really sick. And they realized, oh my God, well, we have paint that can do the job which won't also kill you. So let's make it so that's the only paint you can buy. And the country collectively went, okay, that makes sense. Leaded gasoline. We used to have leaded gasoline, then came to find out, oh my God, this is actually making people really sick. There was a direct correlation between like a giant spike in violent crime and leaded gasoline in the air. So there were studies saying, hey, this is a problem. So they banned leaded gasoline. You know what? Everybody was fine. Everybody was happy. And there were fewer people who were sick. But these days, if somebody did say, hey, not retroactively, but from here on out, no more gas stoves. You can get an electric stove or whatever the other options are. You can get any of those. Don't get a gas stove. Everybody would be fine and healthier, but they act like Joseph Stalin is knocking down their door and trying to fuck their wife. These people would have argued for the right to eat lead paint chips. These people would have argued for the right to huff leaded gasoline right up their nose and define their politics around that. This is freedom! It's freedom! I me mean, now for this is Charlie Hurt, Fox News contributor and Washington Times opinion editor. Look you at know, this Charlie, guy. Charlie, I, I was reliably informed that gas stoves are, are evil and should be banned from existence. So, uh, you, you were not informed of that because literally nobody said that. They should have. They should have. But they didn't say that. I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, they're, they're Can you explain this for me, my friend? Yeah, they're, they're suddenly going to kill all of us after we've been using them for, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, all of uh, the last uh, 150 years. Did he say they're going to kill all of us? By the way, even in a world where there was some sort of order drafted, it wouldn't be retroactive. 
There wouldn't be jackbooted thugs coming into your house to rip out your stove, you idiots. It would be from here on out. Oh, my God. Uh, this is what politics is reduced to. As they're doing this segment, mind you, there is a literal ethnic cleansing and a genocide going on in Gaza that we are funding and we are arming. And there was... <laughs> Kamala Harris took a picture with a gas stove? <laughs> Idiot! Don't you know you guys want to ban it even though you said nothing about banning it? Dumbass. Oh. They're suddenly going to kill us all. Now, it's really amazing and it's really interesting. Um, it's not just, of course, the Biden administration that has suggested that they want to do away with, uh, with, with gas stoves. It's actually, if you go to Democrat-run places like Washington, D.C. and New York City, and you look at, moder at, at the new latest building codes and uh, the approvals for uh, uh, building apartment buildings, they've removed the gas lines from them because they want to take away your gas stoves. Good. Good. God bless the states and the cities and the localities that are forward-thinking enough and they're not pro-lead paint and pro-leaded gasoline and pro-gas stove. God bless these people for still caring at least a little bit about public health and safety. By the way, it would be one thing if you had gas stoves, but there were no other kinds of stoves. So it's like, oh, it's either you have the gas stove or you have no stove. In that scenario, I would argue for the gas stove. But if it's, you can't have this option, but there are other stove options that do the exact same thing without making people sick. I, I can't, I can't deal with these people, man. I can't. This guy looks like he's AI created as a Fox News host. So it's so funny that people, they saw that, uh, on, on, you know, her, her tweet, they saw her stove, they rightly heckled and mocked her and made fun of her and ridiculed her. And then all of the Democrats got freaked out and went on uh, and, and jumped online and said, oh, no, wait a minute. They don't want to take away the gas stoves. That's misinformation. No, they do want to take away the gas stoves. No, they don't. There is a difference between pol politicians at the federal level slash national level and politicians at the state and local level. There's a big, big difference. And by the way, what percentage, even of Democrats at the state and local level, are really moving forward with provisions that from here on out say, hey, we're going to prefer electric stoves or whatever? I'm sure it's a small percentage. But again, God bless those people. They're right. But Kamala and Biden have said Dickie McGee's acts on this. And in fact, they are taking away the gas stoves. Why? Why do you think they the want to do it? In any of the places where they control things. I love, I, okay, we are about to, this exchange that you're about to see now is like chef's kiss straight out of an absurdist comedy type movie. You saw, the, well, why? She's trying to tee him up. Well, why do you think they want to take away the gas stoves? Say the thing about how they hate freedom. They hate freedom and they hate you. They hate you. Look at her face. He's an AI-generated Fox News commentator. She's an AI-generated Fox News host. These people are, I would not be surprised if a report comes out saying, these are actually fake people. These are fake people and they're AI-generated. Here we go. Here we go. Is that, is that why, why do you, why do they want to ban gas stoves? I think because they hate us. They oh, hate humans. Thank you. He figured it out, guys. He cracked the code. He cracked the code. It's because they hate you. They hate humans. That's, that's it. Can you imagine engaging in politics and being this uninterested in what the actual beliefs of the other side are? Can you imagine? This guy couldn't steal man his opposition if you offered him a million dollars to do it. I think they just hate us. They hate us and they hate freedom. They hate us. Really? Because I think Occam's razor is people saw the study about how gas stoves drastically increase respiratory illness and cancer and all sorts of problems. And they said, hmm, well, I'm against cancer and I'm against an increase in respiratory illness by a statistically significant margin. Why don't we make everybody healthier and happier? So. In other words, it is literally the exact opposite of what he's saying. It's not that they hate people. It's that they love people and want to help them. Now, you could say, hey, we'll get your nanny state out of here. 
I don't want anybody's help. I don't need anybody's help. I don't need your do-gooderism. Okay, well, I guess go ahead and bring back the lead paint. Go ahead and bring back the leaded gasoline. Go ahead and bring back the asbestos that we used as insulation in houses for a really, really long time, which then gave a whole bunch of people all sorts of cancers and mesothelioma because when you go to do construction and there's asbestos, it gets in your lungs and it fucks you up. I guess we should bring all that back too because freedom. They hate pies. They hate good food. They hate pie. We hate pies and we hate good food. We hate humans. We hate pies. We hate good food. We hate blowjobs. We hate uh, afternoon delight sex. Uh, we hate... A delicious beer on a Friday night? Cold beer on a Friday night. We hate all that. We hate all of it. Why? Because we're anti-human and we're, e we're inherently evil. They want us all to be miserable. They want us to suffer. Again, if anybody's okay with people suffering, it would be the ones arguing in favor of the gas stoves. You're saying, I would like more cancer. I would like more respiratory illness. If, if, we're, if we're not suffering, we are, uh, in, in, uh, you know, we're making things, we're creating things, we're joyful, we're doing wonderful things, everybody's happy, and that drives them crazy because they're all miserable. They want all of America to be as miserable and unhappy and unloved as they are, and we're just not going to go along with it. Although I feel like we've suffered enough under Joe Biden, but... Guys, I, I, this network is the number one network in quote-unquote news. This network has been poisoning the mind of your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa for since the 1990s. If you wonder what's the disconnect, why is, why is the silent generation, why is uh, the boomer generation, not all of them, of course, but why is uh, such a hefty majority of these people, why are their politics preposterously stupid. Well, this is certainly one of the driving factors. So there's all sorts of other factors, material well-being, the economy, blah, blah, blah. We can go on and on all day. But this kind of commentary is much more believed at mass scale than you would think. These two idiots, with their position of power and authority in this time slot, have more sway over more of the American people than my voice does. Beyond depressing, if you ask me. And I said it before, and now, now I'll ask you guys, you put it in the comment section. Go ahead, tell me if you agree, but am I correct? Is this not maybe the single dumbest Fox News segment of all time? You tell me. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.